With this all-out war going on, everyone at each other's throats, previous enemies coming together to fight back to back. Honestly, I hope to see quite a few good scenes and fights coming up, and more than likely, you're going to be somewhat emotionally scarred by the end of it. If this arc lasted a uh, four or five, at most, maybe everything will be okay, but the longer this goes on, the longer my fears are that... Uh, Shogun's not going to be okay. You know how this really started off with the close assassination of the Shogun drinking poisoned tea that really kicked into everything else we've seen. Did we ever find out who tried poisoning the cup? Or was that just another one of his many many rivals? Just one of the unnamed faces. Also, considering we've seen several of the ninjas now with their own character designs. What's going to happen with those? Are they going to be a reoccurring character somehow just showing up again? But I think we really need to give it to Shinsuke repaying in kind the injury. That was a good moment of the, uh, the previous episode. <laughs> episode title. Even the uh, the fates itself have shown that this is uh, not the end of the story for them. Dungeon. Giving her a, a lesson. It seems everyone is coming for a, just a bit of education. So, paying reparations for the life that he led before becoming a teacher. You know, giving people the... That's an interesting way of keeping classes on. The... Um, the power to stand on their own two feet. And also the will to do better and study. Not everyone is stuck in the same rut. So he has this is where they part ways <laughs> certain feelings for sure.
Yeah, that's how you make a entrance. How can you defy the Shogun? He gave you the order. And, uh... Well, that would be even more dangerous to them, really. Taking along a large swathe of its subjects with him, if they, if he did decide to make a country. It's obviously an automatist zone. Even if he's not aware of it himself. Although, is this a, a comparison with the changing of the era and times and how we see things? Like, Japan still has an emperor and etc. It's the same as... England still has a queen and a royal family, but do we still hold them to the same kind of standards as several hundred years ago? Like, divine sentiment. See, all of their uh, attempts and pretty good moments of each of their own personal fights. If this is something the Shogun himself manages to accomplish through all of this. What about the vice? There he is. No one gathering around him? I guess they all thought he'd be fine. Oh, no. Where's the catch? So she suddenly had a burst of energy. He's uh, he's seen worse. Don't tell me it was, uh, that's what the swords were stuck in. He still has another blade in him and is covered in wo actual wounds. <laughs> hmm. Although it'd probably be easier than if you let it dry. Can't really peel the pages apart. First class treatment there. Would uh, 
Would this be enough to keep him down? Although if we don't have any mention of him and have the big one who has been that puppeteer from the shadows for so long, being like a coma... And both live to tell the tale. You know, it's the only... It's the only fight that he was really prepared to end it with. But now that we've come across the uh, new target... Well, it seemed to be a good fight, so what are they complaining about? That's some fun. <laughs> There's probably some things other than pirates you could be to really boost your... Your name, your status. But he really is a battle junkie. Yeah, with him actually acknowledging his sister's attempts... And her, her, her strength. And see... The combination of all of their, like, traditional outfits... Talking about the Shogun. While on a, a big screen in the middle of the town. <laughs> One way of getting him out. Let them have their way now with this place. Does that mean Kagura is losing a friend? And we can't lose too many of the uh, the main characters from the show right, right away. They uh, might need a a little bit. Good thing she has that wheelchair, actually. Uh, to recuperate. But with them kind of... What's that guy with sunglasses in the back? And 
And now that he's made his up, made up his mind, any longer it'd be harder to part. He's no longer the Shogun. Who remembers a statement like that from childhood just to make a poignant moment? The changing of eras. And that's what you get for being his friend, just face full of dust. <laughs> this place looks desolate now with the sh new shogun in charge. We'll just have to wait for the next season. Poetic. But it's always good to have some hope in the future. Hey! Him in the roof ceiling, I can understand, but how did he not realise she was under the sheets? Okay. Not much seems to really have changed all too much. But after everything that has happened... Also, the uh, dropping of the guard. Just when we're having a happy send-off on an arc like this. Simply as a shige shige. And still drawing so much of a crowd. That was some Pokemon eyes. <laughs> Not the tea? Has she learned how to make it properly yet? A named, named character, and a childhood friend. Ah, oh, it's Pokemon eyes. Well, that's an ominous statement. In a in a that's actually nice. Cute, cute. Okay, good storytelling there. And in a moment of calm, when we think it's over,
talking of the future. How it all, it's all going to start again and they'll be fine. That's what he wanted. She gets she gets. How yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to. But how is um the sister? How's she gonna gonna be after this? Someone better prepare her. Is this a body double? Have we been tricked again? Truly awful. <laughs> with the uh, quite a, actually nice scene in the uh, there with the the light on the pond and. Is this how the legacy of uh, the Shogun Shishige ends? To be fair, it could be worse. Heartbreaking, but peaceful. I knew I had a bad feeling about this. But we can't have loose ends and possible story in the future. But holding the... Holding the scene on this. Did I say at the beginning we're going to get a full circle with him having tea with her again? Did I guess that or did I only think about it? In a case, I'm sad, I was right. What a way to conclude an arc. All of their actions throughout all of this culminating in Shigeshige losing the mantle of Shogun and losing a lot more. And yet everyone still thinks it's all chocolate and roses. A success. But with his ideal out there. Maybe it is. And I'm in a state of real ambivalence with that end scene because on one hand it was him getting, you know, being able to spend this you know, final moments with his sister in a tranquil scene. And on the other hand 
her being completely oblivious to, as to what was going on. And despite being told of the many, many body doubles and such, for once, I kind of hope this isn't a fake out. Because that hit so hard and so well. And with Edo going into a brand new direction, a new shogun being placed, and the world of Gintama actually looking a shade or two duller, but now who are we going to have sliding down the mountain in their underpants? Is everyone sure on what they're fighting for? What it is they're aiming for in the future? Who they're angry at? Who they're trying to inspire? And those that could have made such an impact on the world really being hampered at every turn? The shogun, the teacher, and by extension... All of his students. I'm kind of glad that this worked out to be... Like, ending here. Because... If I had to wait... Until... Like, next week to watch this episode... That would be torture. And I think I need a moment or two to recuperate. And the fact that half of this episode was just the... Slow... The Shogun saying his goodbyes to everyone... And ending on that, after everything that we've seen so far, the wind down was spectacular. I can kind of see why so many people were so in interested in me seeing more. And if you're one of them, I hope you got what you wanted. But other than just sit here and talk about how I have become... Unable to really think of much else. I think I'm going to need to uh, go have a lie down, even though it is the middle of the day. For once. If you enjoyed this episode, please let me know. If you leave a like and a comment down below, it would really help me out, both after seeing something so tragic, but also a little bit for the channel. If you want something for yourself, Consider subscribing, if you think I've done well enough. Maybe even jump onto my Discord, there's some people over there who do enjoy Gintama as well. Get yourself a little rest. Maybe stay off the tea for a bit. See you in the next one. If there are any ne'er-do-wells hidden among the ranks, well, you can probably leave the poison at home because it might not be worth it. This channel is... Bad enough as is. So I guess I need to tentatively thank the likes of Electricant, Noku, Raywin, Kite, Sao, Shiwan, Mats, Moaha, Stinsfire, Gurley, Grey19, Saltytron, Cardboard, Croyville, Jennifer Rojas, Alvin Garcia, Santiago, D. Fiero, Dark Shadow 7899, Defender of Seg, Skinterman, Finesse Kid, Maurizio Lascano. There, couldn't do that one. Maurizio Lascano and everyone else. And don't think I'll be so easy to topple. I'm not going to go quietly into the night. And hey, we still have quite a lot of anime. <laughs>